Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And yes, it is started. The 4th of July event that takes place, well, of course, around every 4th of July. <laughs> anyway, I have already completed this entire set of missions, but I came back in here and it's saying that I've still got a couple that I've... Well, this one I know I completed, but this one, the Cannonball Salute, I do remember I did not complete that. That is because it takes 20, 50, you need to fire 50 holiday salutes from the Liberty Cannons. Have eight days to do that. That means we got to get to every cannon within all the maps to try to fire them off. Well, I don't think I can do that in one day. I'm not even sure if I can do it in the eight days we have. But I'm going to sure get as many of them as I can because I have enough of the cannonballs. That's not an issue. But let me check this one out. This one's got me wondering. I mean, apparently there's another sword shard. I just don't get this one. But, hey, it could be four gold coins. Worth a try. We're going to go ahead and track that. I need to figure out why that's coming up. It may not do anything, honestly. Alright, so we got to go to St. Croix. I'm not really sure where this boat is. Honestly, I, it's been a while since I've been here, so... For this particular mission. I'm sure it's probably not over here. Yeah, I think we have to find it by boat. Yeah, let's see here some reason I think it might be over here to the right, but... St. Croix Sunken Canoe. Well, it doesn't take too long to get around this lake with this boat. Shouldn't have no problem finding it. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. I thought it might be over here, so I really didn't necessarily even need the boat. But it is going to make it a little easier. Yeah, you could have gotten it, gotten to it from shore. Okay, let's see here. I want to guess. Alright, let's see here. Let's get back out on the bow. Should have no trouble getting this with a crankbait. Damn, that was easy. Let's try this a little faster than that. There it is, relic metal chest. Okay, I'm not sure what that's about, but we are going to go ahead and claim it. And let's see if that does something different to our missions here. Well, it got rid of that. I don't know. Well, it got us some gold. <laughs> yeah, because I've completed everything else. Well, we could we could actually travel to Emerald Lake and see if there's something going on there. Which I might do here real quick, guys. 
Because Emerald Lake is where the George Washington stat statue is in the first place. Let's see here. Let's go down to Emerald Lake. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna jump in a private room, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot a cannonball off here because there is a cannon. I probably should have checked over at St. Croix too. Better luck next time. Damn. Well, let's see if I get anything here. Damn, I am ought for ought here. It's <laughs> the deal. Yeah, if you guys hear any noises, that would be fireworks, real fireworks. That's been going on. Let's take the canoe. That thing's just too bulky. We might also try fishing for some of the historic fish. Now, I do have a playlist, guys, that takes you through each and every mission for this event so I think I will put that in the link within the video description I checked to see if you could do it again but apparently you cannot it's like once you've done it it's done so we're gonna come over here and see if there's anything we could do over here at the George Washington thing yeah hidden way over here on the north side of the lake the George Washington statue can be found. Now you can kind of see it when the event's not going on, but during the event, however, you can reach it with no issues whatsoever. Now I just do not understand why that came up. That could have been just a glitch. But hey, I got four bay coins out of it, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, it's right here, and as you can see, it's really open now, too. Alright, yep, there it is. Put that away. Yeah, see, that's already slid back, so I've completed everything. So I don't know what's up with that. That was just weird. But yeah, if you want to check out those videos on how I completed all that it's pretty involved it takes a lot of time you really need to invest yourself on it but it was fun it's really cool to be able to do but we're gonna see if we can't get us some of these historic fish there should be some here I think it's the northern pike too so let's see if we can't find a good spot to get them Uh, before we go any further, I am going to take a look here. Ah, uh, shoot. Where's the map? I don't think peaks matter either. If, pretty sure of it. Okay, that's the ghost pike that was found there. Sauger. Trophy Sauger. Okay, so that was just Sauger. Let's see what we can do about getting some northern pike here. Now we're going to need to get all the way over here. Actually, I might just go ahead and jump ship, <laughs> so to speak. That way I can get to where I I can fish right here. We could fish using our bottom rod. And I can't remember if I don't think these guys go for anything in particular. Yeah, they might go for specific lures. I'm not sure. Yeah, they do. They do. Now that I think about it. I think the rattlesnake worm was one of them. I'm trying to look to see if I have any lures that were oriented towards this holiday. 
and I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing plenty of others here. Yeah, here we go. We got a I want you single spoon. That is one. That might be a good one to try. Um, I think the Grizzly Call Bullet Spinner is another one that's good. Yeah. Well, let's try this single spoon first. Now we're going to try right over here. Now, if I remember correctly, they are over here. And like I said, I don't think peaks matter all that much. I mean, if they do, we can always fast forward time a little bit. There we go. Let's see what we got here, guys. Trophy grass pickerel. It's not one of the historic fish. The boat's kind of in a way over here. This might be a good place to try too. doesn't seem like a big enough well, you're getting the chain pickerel why are you so shiny <laughs> seriously shiny wait a minute let's do this guys check the missions you go to the completed missions we can take a look let's see the emerald sunken canoe So you got his. Let me try to see which ones you can go. With. Historic spotted. Rattlesnake worm is one you can go after. Historic white crappie. Historic black crappie. Okay, historic northern pike using patriotic walker. And historic walleye. So I'm not sure where we caught those. But it's in an Emerald Lake, that's for sure. Well, that's interesting. Historic walleye using rattlesnake worm, huh? Well, we've got that. Let's see here. Wouldn't use a seriously large one. This emerald jig would probably do it. I got the rattlesnake worm. That is optimal, so that is good. Like I said, I don't think the peaks matter. The walleye are right over here where that tall tree is that I'm heading towards. We're going to set anchor here and see if we can't get one. I think this is the don't tread on me rattlesnake. Now with walleye you want to do a slow retrieve, make sure it goes to the bottom. Definitely a stop and go situation.
There we go. This might be what we're... No, it's just a regular walleye. But I think you're getting the idea here. got us another one. Not sure if this is a historic. We are definitely pulling in the walleye. Not sure why we're not getting the historic ones. It's kind of strange. It should be here. Might have to check the requirements of that rattlesnake lure. See if it has to be of a certain size. I don't think so, though. Alright, guys. I have been pulling in some walleye, but not the historic ones. I don't know if it's because the missions are over. I can no longer pull them in. It'd be sad that you can't. Honestly, you should be able to still be able to take part in the event in some way or fashion. But it's possible that it might be over for me. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and leave Emerald Lake. Yeah, I think that sword shard thing with the sunken canoe was a glitch. Because I have two missions with the same name for that. So I think something just went screwbally with that. But since I don't want to spend a lot of money, I think what I might do is go ahead and try that out. First of all, let me see what I have in my inventory for home that is based on this particular event. I do have, yeah, see I have like the fireworks tube. I think I have a revolutionary crawl here somewhere thought I did. Stars and Stripes Shad. Okay, I need to empty some stuff here. Bony Shad. Yeah, see, I've got a lot of really big jig heads. Let's take this one and put it in here, too. Probably don't need a two-ounce one. Well, I'm going to go through this, guys, and we're going to take what we have and see if we can't get some of these historic ones. We might not be able to, honestly. And for that, I am sorry. You're just going to have to check my old episodes. But it would be nice because I believe you can get bait coins for these guys, and I could definitely use more bait coins. I am low, low, low on them. So let me go through that. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we've got the equipment set up and I think we've got everything we need to go here to Lone Star there should be three different types of historic fish found here if they're going to be accessible now if they're not like again like I said there's not much I can do about it but this is where they would be found there's we're just going into a slight peak and the next peak is around 5 p.m. I don't think it matters but I'm not gonna swear to that guys been a while. I don't think the historic fish are partial to peak periods though. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and put that back. We are going to find the cannon if there is one. I think there is. Yep, here it is. And we've got a flag here too. And we got some fireworks, the fire shock epic fire or epic rockets or whatever you call them. Let's see, we we'll shoot that. We didn't get anything for that. That kind of sucks. 
So let's see here. Now what, if you want to know what they are, many of you are going to be just starting this out. So this would be, I think it's the, uh, let me come down here to the missions. Let's see, I'm using a maze. Here it is. Okay, it's going to be the fish tag coordinates too. Now you can find these in Lone Star, Mudwater, and Heron. But what we're after are historic spotted bass with the rattlesnake worm. We've got that. White crappie using firework tube. And historic black crappie using revolutionary crawl to inch. So I'm going to check my inventory here. I've got. I'm going to go ahead and set up the correct one for the spotted bass. Now, the rattlesnake worm prefers a hook of 2 aught to 5 aught. So, we're going to try to stay smaller if we can. Now it looks like we get 6 7 ounce and 3 quarter ounce. Let's try that. And the rattlesnake worm on here, and that is optimal. And we can also, according to the missions, use the tube. But I'm going to need to find out what exactly goes for that. Hold on, let me make sure that the tube is... We could use a revolutionary claw, but let's try the firework tube here. Let's see, that takes a number four to two odd hook. Well, let's keep it small here. So here's a number two. It's six. That's perfect. And then we'll do the firework tube. And I think that's for the crappie. I'm trying to remember here. Like I said, guys, there's a lot going on with these missions. Yeah, it's a historic white crappie, and it's a historic black crappie for the Revolutionary Crawl. Now, it's white crappie here, so a black crappie, I think you have to go to Naharan. I could be wrong. They could be all here, for all I know. But let me go ahead and see if we can't get something. The spotted bass are usually found over here, so I'm hoping that the historic ones are found here as well. They should be. But we may end up just getting spotted bass. You never know. I mean, with what I have and what I've done so far, I might be out of this, guys, unfortunately. It'd be kind of good to start it over. There we go. Spotted bass, but he's just a regular one. Yeah, I'm starting to think that you have to have the missions. I thought you could just catch them. There we go. We can get them, guys. There you go. All right. That's awesome. Uh, but look. We don't get anything for them. Ah, heck. Well, you we do get XP. We do get... But we don't get any cash. I'll be darned. So it's only for the missions. Honestly, I was thinking you got bait coins for them. Well, that stinks. <laughs> I guess I am kind of out of this, guys. I'm afraid that's it. There's not a lot I can do with this event. Except the cannonballs. Hmm. Well, these are definitely, though, some very good lures. And the historic fish they tend to come in about trophy size sometimes unique 
So you can get some pretty good sized specimens. But all you can get is XP, unfortunately. Yep, well we still can get the spotted bass with no problem. They really like that rattlesnake lure. Now that's a decent sized one too. Well, we just learned something guys. Yeah, you wanna, it does take a while to complete that mission. I mean, I had, it took me a few years to get everything I needed together to make it happen. But, I did complete it last year, and again, like I said, I'm gonna put the, the links to the videos so the rest of you can do so, but unfortunately, it's kind of a one-time thing. I don't think there is a way to change it. Yeah, I have looked back here. I've tried to figure out if there's any way to restart it. If you know of a way to do it, let me know because that would be great. If I could redo this again. It's not looking good. <laughs> yep, we've got the meat wash and see everything looked like it was supposed to. But everything's checked off and you cannot redo it again. I guess the only way you could do it is you'd have to start off with a whole new name and start off from the very beginning. But again, like I said, I can still do the holiday salutes with the cannons, and if I am able to complete that, I will come back and do a quick video on that. I think I'm going to go ahead and make that my mission as I'm doing other things to set those off. Now, you should be able to... let me go ahead and leave here. If you check the main map, everywhere there's an American flag symbol, you should be able to find a cannon. So you basically can find them here, pretty much, well, everywhere except White Moose Lake. Everything else is, is good to go. Obviously you can't get them in Europe or in South America or in the Congo. <laughs> but I think we might head back to Slange Lake or Slange River for a while. There's some things I still want to do there. And I am going to go back to Maku Maku Lake here fairly soon. There's quite a bit I still haven't finished there as well. But it was kind of nice to visit these places again, just to, just for old times' sake. We will be back to them. And guys, I will tell you this. There's a lot of stuff. I know a lot of the things over here are for much higher levels. And Maku Maku Lake and Solange River is definitely for higher levels. So if you guys want me to look at something over here at the earlier lakes and there's something in particular you want me to catch or show you how to catch let me know in the comments I will do that I have no issues redoing it I love doing that it's always love a challenge so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I'll be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic so until then guys as I always say aim straight cast far and have fun and I will See you later. Bye-bye.